Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back where we're going to an energy controlled system. Not because I want to go to you know, safe systems, but probably not a bad idea. But mainly because I want to take this north route, not the south route. So let's go. Uh, you arrive in, in NG space. The Fall of the Federation has brought tough times to these uh, robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. Two stores and a distress speaker. I think we go one, two, three, four. Actually, we know there's nothing there, so distress, store, store. That's quite interesting, you know, being able to see things. Uh, the distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Uh, their satellite defense system has gone screw wire. Uh, promise to help. Yep. Simply fire. No, use our cloaking to disable their systems. You use your ship's cloaking to prevent the defense system from getting a lock. Once close enough, you hasten to disable the systems without damaging it. It was a sloppy job, but they appreciate it and reward you, offer you a reward. Okay, three fuel, 16 scrap, jump. Yet another store. Okay, I'm going to try this one first. All the stores in the freaking world. And you don't have shields. Do you have other crew members which would be useful, but shields are priority. A fix for two scraps seems cheap. Got fire beam to sell and long range sensors if need be. Flat one requires two power, but uh, fires three things, so effectively taking them down to one shield. Ten seconds to charge, so it'll be charged. I'm going to regret it, but I'm going to buy it. Now we're going to jump and see if we can't get through to the other stores. I received a message from an energy ship assistant. Uh, respond to the call and move in to assist. Uh, you approach, but the mantis... Oh. Yeah. Mantis attacking small NG space station. That's fine. These two weapons I should be able to understand to cloak. Oh, crap. Uh, can't let him die. Fight him two on one, please. You need to watch for weapons, though. Okay. Cloak out of it. NG guy. Power down the O2. You run off to the med bay. I should keep the weapon charged. We can power back up the O2. I'm hoping... That you should be able to fight him off now. Yeah, the, our energy guy... Okay, he's run away. He's run away. And we need to evacuate the engine bay. Our glaive beam's almost charged. Good. Glaive beam charged. I can hit shields, weapons, and their clone bay. That's four rooms. Probably not a kill, but taking out their weapons... Oh, no, it is a kill. And I say, taking out their weapons, at least we'll be able to, you know, attempt to kill them first. Uh, the Manta ship breaks apart. We get one fuel, two missiles, and 16 scrap. And they give us another four fuel. Could have offered to fix some of my hull. Uh, close all the doors. You two run off to the med bay, get fixed up while the end oxygen comes back in. Yeah, you did both need it. Then I'll have you both go down to the engines and fix that and we'll jump again. Don't tell me enough power. I didn't click on anything that needed power. I told him to go fix things. Okay, engines are back up. Back to your respective places, please. There we go. And we jump to the second star. Energy upgrades necessary for travel home. Okay. Shields! Yes! Now... <laughs> I don't have enough scrap to... Sell. 25. Ship. Power, power. Power. 
Um, store. Two little fixes. Jump. No point going to that store, so we'll head off to this distress beacon. Hopefully find other things to jump to. That exit's a little bit close to the... Not close enough to the edge for my liking. I always feel that the exit should be... You know, there shouldn't be really any further this way than it. Well, it's fine. Let's go to the distress, see if we can't help people out. Uh, you find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail the mess and what's wrong? Help, we've been overrun by gigantic spiders. Send a member of the crew. Uh, the giant is trying to charge. Beating back, contact the owner. We won! Did we really win? <laughs> oh dear god, I was expecting to lose someone for that. I got a burst mark one. To be honest, the flak's better. It's not quite as aimable, but it's better. I guess it's something to be able to sell. Possible ship, but then we've got to go to the exit. So if we come here, hopefully possible ship. Possible ship, possible ship, and they go like that. So we'll go north. Deal as much as we can in fighting. A Manta ship engages a civilian. Engaging a civilian hails you. Sparks fly about his cockpit and he yells, Stay out of this human or else. You're next. Aid the civilian ship. As far as I'm concerned, he should already be damaged. You frown, power up your weapons, and prepare to engage a Manta ship. Not today. Okay, I, I, I'm pausing at the start of everyone just so that I can you know, get an idea. And we can see that they're... We don't have a crew teleport, so that's good, and we just need to get ready to dodge when these fire, and they should fire about the same time. The missile's more important, though. Because the missile goes through the shields. That one thing by itself wouldn't have hurt us. Right, glaive beam. Four runes. Sounds good to me. You should be more than dead. And he might have a burnt bum. There we go, guys. Attempt to contact the civilian ship. And good, there was there. It seems the crew did not survive the assault. You know, we'll take what we can anyway. Oh, they didn't have a chance to jump away at least. That's what I was more bothered about. A ship. 50 and 75, so 125 plus... That's going to be 25, so 200, 220 to get the next weapon online. And all we can do is try and jump forward, hopefully find something in a place where we don't think we will. And you come across an asteroid mining colony. Uh, we have five missiles to give again, so let's do that again. Another 22 scrap, I'm happy. And we can jump to the exit from there and maybe come back around that way. Let's go here, because we know, we're know we pretty sure these don't have possible ships. So, I should hopefully be able to do that many. One, two, three. No. Two jumps and exit. I think that's all we're going to be able to get. As soon as you jump into the system, you receive a hail from a nearby civilian vessel. The captain appears on your screen. Strangers, can you assist in a debug? Uh, listen to the problem. Uh, found malfunctioning mantis believe it's he believes it's a human will receive input only from human danger evaluation extremely hi uh, provide chance okay human crew send not or swampy to communicate with a mantis the mantis is grateful to see another human and introduces himself as Robert Smith he explains he's from a nearby human colony and would appreciate being returned there uh, return him home the colony is a mining operation that specializes in FDL fuel. Uh, Robert's family, uh, the head engineers, are excited to see him and are very grateful for his return. Apparently, he ran away to join the Federation, like his older brother, uh, but was never accepted onto a ship. Well, let's offer him a position. Okay, so we've, we've got a little band sky. Could have probably have got the engines fixed up a bit more of a reactor, but... 
having the doors fixed is good for borders, and you know, a mantis is good for borders, so I'm happy. Let's jump. I think we've messed up. I think we don't want to jump too many. Uh, you notice an NG colony hiding on the other side of a nearby moon. It turns out their excavation equipment. Okay, yep. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, equipment cache from the Federation Mantis Wars. They suggest it might be used to uh, secure the cache. Again, it's something to sell. N yeah, to the exit. I can't get to that distress call. Getting out without fighting the rebels is a primary concern. Oh, cool. Um, be a hero and attack the pirate. You've got a defense drone that doesn't bother me. And you've got weapons that I can most likely dodge away from. But the missile's a bit annoying. Okay. Your shields, I could maybe even hit... No, I can, I can hit four. Glade beam is a bit short. Short and free damage per room is good. Okay, I guess I'm ignoring the weapons. Because I've gone too close that way and can't actually get them, but four rooms should be dead anyway. Let's see. Accept a generous offer. No, I don't really need the missiles or the drone parts. Reject and continue to fire. 20 scrap. I'll take it. Oh, uh, thanks. Thank the heavens you showed up when you did. We don't have much to offer, but as a reward, our best engineers should be proficient enough to patch up your ship after that nasty fight. Thank you, 15 hull points. That, to be honest, is really what I wanted. Uh, go to the next sector. We're going to go to the Mantis Controlled and not the home worlds. I don't like how it doesn't tell me what ones. I really wish I could see these as well. Maybe... Oh no, I was going to say... you. Maybe just like another level ahead, so you could be a bit more um, planned, because I would think you'd know where, what sectors were where. That's not something that changes. Uh, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we have for today. I uh, will be in the Mantis controlled sector next time. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching, but unfortunately I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my Let's Play of FTL. We're off to Mantis controlled this time. Well, NGA Homeworld would have been nice, you know, uh, talk to the little robot people. It was quite a nice sector for us, but Mantis controlled. So far, I don't think we've actually took any shield damage. So since I've been controlling this craft correctly, that means we haven't taken any damage. Uh, you enter a poorly charted area of space that's known to be the home of a Mantis. Ensure your whole plating is up to scratch. Nah. <laughs> and that you have enough fuel to make it through the sector. Well, we have enough to make it through. Um, possible ship, beacon coordinates appear to be very close to a sun. That should be fine, I don't think I'm bothered about that. I want the, I want to fight the ship, I want to get scrap. Uh, who knows why the Mantis would venture so close to a sun, perhaps it makes it for more, it makes it more challenging for them. And you're gonna board? Where are you boarding? Somewhere I can vent straight away. So clever. And I want to be ready to... That was a bit early. But as you've already got into there now, let's come out of here. Close that door off. And fight in two on one. That's him dead. Get back into the doors, please. And shields, I should be able to hit four rooms, including the weapons. And here comes a missile that I should have dodged. God damn it. Um, that's going to be more fires, but then the O2 room. Oh, for Christ's sake. Um, power down the O2. Now keep the O2 powered. Oh, for Christ's sake, I'm dead, aren't I? Open all sodding doors. Close where appropriate. You can fight that yourself. Should have done this at the start of the fight, actually. But 
Okay, O2's down, and I just let all the oxygen out. Weapons are completely down. Are you freaking kidding me? All because I cloaked that second too early. Yeah, we're dead. There's nothing I can do. Maybe we can jump in time if we... No. <laughs> I just started... I just started to think I knew what I was doing. I got cocky. I went to a beacon with fire. No, I was messing with fire. I shouldn't have. I'm going to put this on the end of the last episode, guys. And I'm going to start a new run. Probably actually with the same ship again. I think maybe I should try and do two runs of the same ship in a row. See if that helps. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, as always, I'd like to thank you for watching. But unfortunately, like I said just a bit ago in the previous episode, goodbye.